Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. One day while traveling the galaxy, we get hailed by a friendly captain. Hello, so uh, my daughter has a request. You, <laughs> this is very non-urgent. <laughs> Honey, the nice captain is on the line. Just begin uh, there. Hi. I'm so happy to meet you. Would you like to buy my lemonade? Uh, please? You have to say how much, sweetie. Five credits. Or, uh, five zero zero credits? <laughs> you have actual lemonade? Yes. I made it with Mr. Dolly and Bun Bun. If you got friends, you could drink together. We could. Pay five credits and say, I'll have a big glass, thank you. See, Daddy? It's working! Or we could pay 500 credits and say, Yummy lemonade. Here you go. Ooh! I got so much money! <gasps> I'm gonna buy my own ship! Bless you. I... Oh, just to be clear, that's not lemonade. No lemons, sugar, heck, anything on board. I hope you like orange juice. Your daughter just made my day. They grow up so fast. Soon, she'll be too old for this. So you gotta enjoy it while you can. I can't believe you're doing this. You try saying no to her after she makes poppy dog eyes at you. I know, I've tried. Well, I have to go. Say goodbye, honey. Bye-bye. Come back. And bring more money. <laughs> With that, they grab, jump away, and regardless of the option we choose, we don't actually get lemonade. He gives us orange juice. Welcome Not exactly sure how he gives it to us. To Maybe land. he tossed it out the window. We can stumble upon this random encounter a number of times, which is why I was able to record both the 5 credits and 500 credits option. Looks like the friendly captain will be selling lemonade with his daughter for the foreseeable future. There are many random encounters in Starfield, and not all of them happen in space. I haven't covered all of them in this video, that's why this is only part one of Starfield's random encounters. And these random encounters can happen randomly, in orbit around almost any planet or moon. So there's no fixed location where we can go to farm them. I'll be sure to cover more of them as I find them. Next, we can encounter a Freestar Mule. Hey, contact Charlie 3. That's you, Charlie 3. Nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi. Just doing my daily paying it forward. Avoid the Altair system. Back big time. Why are you calling me Charlie 3? I meet so many people, and I'm just giving up trying to keep track of them all. So you're the third Charlie I've met today. Nice to meet you. Well, thanks for the warning about Altair. Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and <laughs> oh boy, spacers all over the damn place there. Distress call, yammering nonstop. Some big's going down there, and... All of us with no skin in the game? Yes, we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? What did the distress call say? Oh, it sounded bad. Real bad. But I had my own problems. I had to plot a course out before the spacers took out my graph drive. Sorry, I'm just not constitutionally capable of the big space fight thing. Well, it might be that I can help them out. Charlie 3. You are looking to pay it forward like big time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you you're crazy, but wow. Bye, Charlie 3. You've been like the best Charlie 3 I've talked to all week. And with that, he grav jumps away. The Freestar Mule here is referencing the Ground Pounder quest, which I covered in a separate video. A Freestar Collective lab is under attack by spacers, and you'll never guess who actually showed up to help them out. You'll have to watch my video to see how that story plays out. It's a dangerous universe out there, with hackers and pirates and more constantly tracking you, looking to scam you or steal your data. 
but a VPN can help with that, which is why I'm happy to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. Surfshark liberates your internet by unblocking blocked websites and bypassing geo-restrictions. Get early access to games by switching time zones. Switch your VPN server to one in the time zone that's getting the preload or just the release the earliest. Get that day one gaming advantage. Stop ISPs from throttling your data. They analyze your data and limit your bandwidth when you're engaged in intense activities, such as playing online games. Stop them with Surfshark and enjoy the speed you deserve. Protect yourself from DDoS attacks. When you're connecting via a VPN, attackers can only get the VPN server's IP, keeping your true IP hidden and safe. Today, my viewers can get an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter promo code OXHORN for an extra three months free by going to surfshark.deal slash OXHORN or clicking the link in the description below. If only a VPN could protect us from spacer attacks. One of the most frequent random encounters we get are space battle dogfights with ecliptic mercenaries, the Crimson Fleet, or spacers. Oftentimes, these enemies are attacking someone else, usually the United Colonies or the Freestar Collective. If we join in the fight and defeat the enemies, we'll get hailed by the Freestar. Fancy flying, stranger. Please respond. We really showed ecliptic. <laughs> Most ships would have bugged out and left us with this mess. But you, total class act. And their dialogue can change from encounter to encounter. And it can change based on the choices we've made in the game. For example, if we join the Freestar Rangers. The Freestar Collective owes you, stranger. Please acknowledge. That got a little too exciting back there. You're with the Freestar Rangers, right? Space is always just a little safer with you folk around. Or we can come to the defense of the United Colonies, sometimes helping out UC Sysdef. And it's over. Unknown vessel, please respond. I was pretty touch and go there for a minute. Your designation, UC Vanguard. You people are a class act. Or sometimes helping out the UC Navy. United Colonies Navy to unknown ship, please respond. Galaxy's a better place with a few less ecliptic in it. Will you clean them up like you've done this before? Any way we can repay you. Either way, these random encounters always end the same. They offer us a reward. We can choose between credits, salvage rights, we could say we don't want a payment, or we could ask for extra repair parts, which is what I always do, since repair parts are so expensive, and I forget to buy them in town. Transferring parts now. Watch yourself now. Ending transmission. Next, we get hailed by Mrs. Whitmore. Hello, this is Mrs. Whitmore's sixth grade class. Uh, we are having a problem and need help. Please respond. Requesting emergency assistance. Oh, thank you. The school district is supposed to do maintenance on the ships. But our graph drives cracked and leaking helium-3. The ship can't jump right now. Um, what's helium-3? Helium-3 is a stable isotope of helium that is used as fuel for grav drives, Tashi. What's a grav drive? You know what a grav drive is. Or you should. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grav drive is. Class, please talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? How could the school district put you all in danger? The whole fleet is made of charitable donations, so the ships are always breaking down. And the district's mechanics are few and overworked. I hope you're getting hazard pay. Sounds like you deserve it. <laughs> Tell that to my vice principal. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No, no pirates. Everyone is safe. We have a number of options here, including passing a Crimson Fleet pirate check if we're a member of the Crimson Fleet. 
but I chose to pass a United Colonies Vanguard captain check to say I'm with the UC Vanguard. You're in safe hands, kids. Uh-huh. At least he could have been like a Marine. A volunteer pilot? How daring. See? The authorities are here and they'll help us. Thank you. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair our ship. We can then donate to her ten ship parts and say, here you go. Take care, Mrs. Whitmore. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Class, we'll be leaving shortly. Everyone buckle in. And with that, she grab jumps away. When I covered this live, I had many people in the chat say that when they did it, Mrs. Whitmore asked for only five ship parts, or only seven. So I'm guessing that the number of ship parts she asks for is also random. I got unlucky and she needed ten. It was expensive. Next, when traveling to Gunibu, we almost ram right in to a Star Parcel Freighter. Star Parcel Freighter to unknown vessel. I have an urgent package, hoping for some assistance. Acknowledge? The Star Parcel's fleet's got a load of these aging Deimos monsters. Built like tanks, but well past their warranty. It's gonna take hours to fix this, if we can get the engine back online at all. Well, I could try and help with the repairs. Sorry, company policy is only employees are allowed on the ship. If you step foot on here, I'm out of a job. I got a hot package that's paid for expedited delivery. They'll dock my pay if it doesn't get to its destination. Star Parcel will reward you well if you can assist. Can't one of the other ships in your fleet deliver it? Eventually, sure. And by then, it's a black mark on my record and wages garnished. Star Parcel always knows how to stick it to us. We could try to pass a persuade check to say, given the circumstances, Star Parcel needs to up that reward. The paperwork involved in giving you anything extra is a nightmare. We both know you're lowballing me. Hold on. I never said that was my final offer. There must be some way we can both win here. I'd like to think so. Tell you what, I can pay you some credits from the discretionary fund up front. Best I can do. All right, send over the package and I'll deliver it. Ah, excellent. All you need to do is drop this off to the ship services technician on Aquila City. They'll take it from there. Thanks for bailing me out of this nightmare. With that, we get 500 credits, and in this case, I needed to deliver a package to Aquila City. The package appears in our inventory as just a white box labeled Star Parcel Package. Heading to Aquila City, we make our way to ship's services and talk to the technician. Hey, what can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? I got an urgent Star Parcel delivery for you. You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Anything else you need? With that, he takes the parcel and we get an additional 8,500 credits. I have a sneaking suspicion that the target destination we are to deliver to and the amount of money that we can get varies from encounter to encounter. So let me know in the comments below if your Star Parcel random encounter played out differently. Next, we can get hailed by a UC Vanguard Raptor. Oh, there's one. Where's my textbook? <clears throat> Unknown ship, do you copy? This is a UC Vanguard vessel. Please respond to my hail. You actually responded? Uh, wait, where'd my notes go? <clears throat> Thank you for accepting my hail. This is UC Vanguard vessel AHC1026, performing standard training exercises. Civilian pilot, do you require assistance from the UC Vanguard at this time? Uh, first day on the job? Ah, uh, still in training, actually. Is it that obvious? Now we know what this guy is doing as we've joined the UC Vanguard ourselves. We can pass a United Colonies Vanguard captain check to say, you're off the hook. I'm a Vanguard too. Oh, gee, sorry, I called you a civilian. I'm just reading the official jargon. I swear this stuff was written by robots. Good luck out there in the space lanes. Can't
catch you at the den sometime. And with that, he jumps away. Remember, any pilot can join the UC Vanguard, but they have to go through a few missions for the UC first. He was likely doing one of his missions. Next, we can get hailed by a Sanctum Universum Pilgrim. Hello, Captain. We pose no threat here. Quite the opposite. Our ship's full of the faithful, Sanctum Universum. Happy to talk if you're inclined. We'd love to talk. I'm making another run out of New Atlantis, taking Universals out in the stars. To get closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy and all its majesty. We've learned a little bit about Sanctum Universum during the primary plot. In short, Sanctum Universum is a religion. They believe that God exists somewhere out there in the universe and is guiding humanity to meet him. Therefore, pilgrims like this love space exploration because it gives them a chance to find God. What's involved with your pilgrimage, we can ask? We grab jump to a few different systems. We're lucky to have some pilgrims who have never been off world. Seeing so many marvels can be a life-changing experience. Well, there are worse reasons to travel. Actually, it's one of the best reasons. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times, and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes. But I'll keep jumping. It's hard not to feel something profound traveling the stars. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Next, we get a hail from Faraday's Budget Tours. This is Faraday's Budget Tours. I'm, uh, well, surprise you returned a hail. Can I ask the first question? I'm still talking with the captain. Cindy will organize everyone into a queue. Are you sure you're up for this? This is a really fun crowd. Oh, I'm happy to answer questions. So helpful. All right, who's up? First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Well, there's danger, but it's not glamorous like in the movies. I am sure the captain is really busy and may not have time for all your questions. If you can afford your very own ship, you must be super well off. You single? Oh dear lord. I'm single and I'm in the market. Uh, we have to move along. Next, next. Last question. Let. Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it. What would it be? Ooh, a political question. This is tough. We have a lot of good options here, but I chose to say, the problem is a lot of space is unaligned. No one is responsible for it. So you want more government interference? Yeah, that seems like such a good idea. Thank you, Captain, for the, uh, welcome break. I got a question. Is it true captains have someone in every port? You know, a special someone? For l'amour? Or so You don't have to answer that. Space travel is just like the romance novels, except juicier. I knew it. I knew it. That's all. Everyone settle back in your seats. A cut the intercom? You have the patience of a saint. This tour group is very energetic. Here's some credits for giving them such an authentic experience. This is your captain speaking. We're about to head to our next destination. Remember, we'll be in Neon in five days, so don't spend all your money yet. Astral Lounge, here I come! Dear Lord. And with that, we hope that they get their fill of Aurora. Next. We overhear some singing on our comm chatter. I miss my dear darling in New Atlantis As I wander the blackness of the deep abyss My ship is in tatters, all dented and worn But I trust my old engine to get back by morn Way over in the blackness 
This is the Valentine, and we can stumble upon him again. And he sings a different song if we do. So we must be in the right place. I lived my life in sin. There was no number high enough to count the troubles I was in. I filled neon nights with women. By day I rest my skin. There was no gamble bad enough to think I would never win. But I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home Go back home again Always happy to meet a stranger Hope my singing was to your liking But after the songs, our dialogue options with The Valentine are the same Is that a sea shanty you were singing? It is, at that If you believe the family tales We've been merchantmen and freighter captains Since the days of the East India Company If you like my singing, you should have heard my pops Now he had a voice your song really made my day. Ah, oh, and now you've made mine. Anything to pass the time. That's the way of it, isn't it? Space travel for many is a solitary and, frankly, boring pursuit. Sprinkled with a dollop of oh shit moments. <laughs> Afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Fair travels. And with that, the Valentine grab jumps away. That's all the random encounters we have time for today, but I'll be sure to work on episode two as I gather more footage. How many times did you bump into the Valentine in your game? How many songs have you heard him sing? Let me know in the comments section below. Many thanks to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Remember, my community gets an exclusive Surfshark deal. Click the link in the description below and enter the promo code OXHORN for an extra three months free. I publish new Starfield videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss the next one, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. If you'd like to support me in a different way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members get little badges that appear next to their names in the comment sections of my videos and access to Oxymojis that they can use in my video comments and in the live chats of my live streams. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with more Starfield videos.